All right, so today we are gonna be showcasing the newly Extremes Awakened STR Cooler at Rainbow Status, and also with Max Lynx, which, as you guys might know, is actually pretty rare for me since I'm usually too lazy to uh, max out a unit's Lynx before the showcase, but I had to make an exception for this guy because he is just that good. He is 100% worth the time and effort it takes to max out his links. Trust me, guys. Okay, so yeah, with that said, before we get into the gameplay, I want to go over his Extreme Z Awakening details. So if you guys happen to already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about a minute or two. Okay, so uh, the first thing you guys might notice is that his stats are crazy. He has 22,138 attack, which is one of the highest attack stats in the entire game, even including LRs. You know, like right now in my box, he has, I believe, the 19th highest attack stat. And once again, that is including a bunch of rainbowed LRs. So very impressive attack stat. Defense also quite good, 12,028 and 22,098 HP. From there, his leader skill is Terrifying Conquerors or Transformation Boost, Category key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 170%. Super attack raises defense, causes immense damage, and lowers attack and defense. Passive is attack and defense plus 130%, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when the target enemy is in attack down or defense down status. Transformation Boost, Category Allies, key plus 2. Attack and defense plus 50% when facing only one enemy. And then Terrifying Conquerors category allies key plus two. Attack and defense plus 50% when facing two or more enemies. And finally, his active skill is the transformation into Final Form Cooler, which can be activated when there is a Pure Saiyans or Hybrid Saiyans category enemy starting from the third turn from start of battle or when facing only one enemy starting from the sixth turn from start of battle once only. So that is the cooler. Now jumping over to the final form cooler, his super attack is raises attack and causes immense damage and massively lowers defense. And passive is Q plus 4, attack and defense plus 200%, launches two additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, chance of performing a critical hit plus 10% per rainbow key sphere obtained and then performs a critical hit when there is a pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans category enemy. So there you go, that is the Extreme Z Awakened STR Cooler. And with that said, let's jump into the GT Legendary Goku event for the showcase. On this first rotation, we have the EZA Cooler linked up with the LR Final Form Cooler, and also we got some support from the Garlic Jr. So we're starting with 200 and 88,000 defense for the TUR EZA cooler. So with no stacks, almost 300k defense is quite good in my opinion. So let's give this guy some orbs and see exactly what he can do. And also, we're going to keep an eye on the uh, LR final form cooler too because we got more support now from the TUR cooler. Okay, <laughs> so we're starting with 7.1 mil for the first super, additional super, 7.1 mil once again, maybe a third super, never mind, he's dead. So in theory, in theory, we could have seen three supers there, unfortunately, we did too much damage, and he died. Um, wow, this other rotation is also pretty good. So bringing the full power Frieza might have been a bit of a, uh, a bit of a mistake because he hits really hard, especially against Goku's, and that might make the showcase a lot shorter than it has to be. Although I might just do a second event after this. Yeah, maybe we'll do like Extreme Super Bad Road or something like that. We'll see. Um, going back to the TUR cooler, 7.1 mil per super, right? 7.1 mil double supers, over 14 million attack that turn, and since we supered twice, we should have more defense now. Uh, yeah, 
404,000 defense, this is without any support. We did have support the last turn, so if we still had support here, we should be at like 450 to 500k defense. And this is after only two stacks, guys. Only two stacks. So let's put him back in the first slot here. Uh, I trust he will tank pretty decently. A super might hurt, actually. So we'll see what that does. But if we don't get supered, we should tank the normals really well. There you go. 52, 112. And attack without support now is 6.2 mil, which is still very good. That is still solid attack. Okay, so there's another additional super. So the additional from his passive was a normal attack, but we did get the additional super from his hidden potential skills and 49 damage right there. Okay, so this is the first time the LR final form cooler gets to attack in this showcase. He's getting 6.3 mil and no additional super, but this should do it. There we go. There we go. This is going to be a really fun rotation to run, guys. It's going to be a really fun rotation, I can tell. Okay, so... Yeah, I think these guys should be able to handle the Super Saiyan 3 Goku pretty decently. In fact, we might actually kill Super Saiyan 3 Goku before we get a chance to go back to the other rotation, which would mean that we'll be facing the Golden Great Ape, who is pretty scary. That guy is pretty scary, but I think Cooler will be okay, because... We're getting support back. We super twice again. So that's four stacks now, right? That's four supers. And yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll hold up just fine defensively. I mean, I can't say with 100% certainty, but I feel like we'll hold up pretty well, even without any items. So let's see what this defense looks like. Um, 635k. 635k defense. I'm almost tempted to pop the uh, final form cooler transformation now, but I think I'm gonna leave it for at least one more turn just so we can get some more stacks of defense. Um, let me see. Let's put the let's put the STR cooler or the TUR cooler in the middle so he can tank those attacks potentially. And uh, I also want to see the final form cooler go off a little bit. But let's see what final form cooler does here. 10.8 mil. All right. Not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. And probably some additional supers. There we go. 7.2. You know what? Actually, I don't want him to super too many times just because uh, I still want the TUR cooler to attack, right? There we go. Okay. 7.6 mil, guys. 7.6 mil here. And additional super, there we go, 7.6 once again. <gasps> oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. And he's dead. Wow, he's dead. Just madness. Just absolute madness. I don't... I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say, except... This team is crazy. This, this, like, yo, Wicked Bloodline right now is probably... Okay, just to be safe on this rotation, I'm gonna just pop the Princess Snake because I'm not really sure what's gonna happen with the freeze at the end. Um, but, yeah, Wicked Bloodline has gotta be a top three category in the game right now. With all these additions we just got, with all the Extreme Z Awakenings, with all the, um... Yeah, just general upgrades, you know what I mean? Like, it's... It's got to be a top three category, if not the best category in the game. If someone wanted to argue that Wicked Bloodline is the best category in the game right now, they would have a really good argument. Okay, so Cooler, you got to chill for a bit. Okay, you got to you gotta stop going off for a second. <laughs> We're not here to showcase you. Thank you. But then Full Power Freeze is probably going to finish the job here. Yeah, anyways... Um, Wicked Bloodline, easily a top three category. Top one is definitely debatable. You know, it's, it's definitely something you can argue. And, uh, yo, STR Cooler is definitely one of the best units in the game right now. Probably the best TUR. I mean, 
I'm trying to think like who else I would consider better. I, I can't really think of anybody else right now. I think I think STR Cooler might be the best TUR in the game right now. Just maybe. Just maybe. Okay, so here we go. Uh, 538k, no wait, hold on, nope, there we go, that's better, it didn't update, 808k defense, 808k defense, and I'm going to pop this active skill here, you know what, hold on, actually, we should turn on the active skill, there we go, that's better, I'm gonna get final form cooler in here, because I don't think we're gonna make it one more turn after this. You know, if we don't finish him off here, then the other rotation will probably finish him off. So we need to get some attacks in with Final Form Cooler before we end this run and jump over to Extreme Super Battle Road. Okay, so yeah, defense still looking very good. Let's see what kind of damage we can get out of this guy. Now keep in mind, he does stack attack, so the earlier you uh, pop the active skill, the better his attack will be, right? The more he'll be able to stack his attack. So we're taking double digits here, as you would expect, with 800k defense. And 7.5 mil, he's going to get guaranteed supers. So he's going to hit really hard. Really, really hard. There's the second super. We could conceivably, conceivably get up to four, I believe. There's the third super. <laughs> Oh my god. And, yep, of course. Now, sadly, I don't think this is going to be enough to finish him off, but it's still going to be a Final Form Cooler that does finish him off. You know what I mean? It's going to be the LR Final Form Cooler. Now, this will be interesting. We're taking a super attack from full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku for 105 damage. Yep. Yep. And then we have uh, the LR Final Form Cooler, not even fully built up. Guys, trust me, this is not a fully built up Final Form Cooler. This is like a halfway built up Final Form Cooler on his passive, and he's doing that because he got 50% support from the TUR Cooler, 40% from the, um, what do you call it, from the uh, Garlic Jr. So he's doing stuff like that. I think fully built up, he should be doing like 16, 17 mil. For the initial 24 key super so that's what this team is guys that that's what this team is looking like right now and let's quickly jump into <laughs> uh wicked bloodline extreme super battle road if i can find it uh wait where is extreme sbr <laughs> i thought it was near the top but i guess not um, there's gotta be a better way to, like, organize these events, man. It's getting too messy. It's getting way too messy. Okay, so, Wicked Bloodline. This is the team I brought last time. I think it's fine. Oh, no, hold on. We don't have TUR Cooler. <laughs> don't have TUR Cooler. It's not fun. Let's take out, um... Let's take out Tech Freeze that we'll put in the STR Cooler. As far as leaders go, we could do maybe another metal cooler like that. And that should be fine. All right, let's see how he does in extreme super battle road. Uh, unfortunately, he is in the second rotation, but not a huge deal. I will pop the Icarus to start. And uh, let's take this guy out of rotation so he can eventually link up with the um, TUR cooler, but we already have a pretty good sample size of like what the TUR cooler can do, right? And I gotta say guys, he's looking like the best TUR in the game right now. He is looking like the best TUR in the game. And if you guys don't know what TUR is, it's transcended UR, right? So basically a Dokkan Awakened uh, unit. Um, that's not an LR, of course. And I don't know, yo, make a case for me in the comments maybe of, about like which other EUR is better. I'm sure that people will argue this, but to me right now, yo, maybe it's like the rose colored glasses, maybe because it's so fresh, maybe because he just came out and I'm just like 
going crazy over this EZA I've been waiting for forever, right? So maybe I'm not thinking clearly, but based on what I just saw in that GT Legendary Goku event run right there, I think he's the best TUR in the game, guys. <laughs> I mean, he's... He's stupid good. He's stupidly, stupidly powerful. Defensively, offensively, you name it, man. This guy can do it all. This guy can do it all. Alright, let's see. Um, 235k defense, of course, on these shorter to medium length events. Um, he's not going to be as impressive just because he doesn't have as much time to build up, to stack up, right? So we're taking a super here. This is probably going to hurt quite a bit. 151k to be expected. Right, I put him in the first slot because I wanted to make sure he got an attack off in case the other guys killed him. So, yeah, not the best tanking there, but once again, it's very, um, very short, right? So he only has like one turn or one chance essentially to build up that defense. So is he as good defensively in, you know, Super Battle Road or Extreme Super Battle Road? Definitely not, right? Because he's a stacker for defense. He's meant to be dominant defensively in longer events. In Extreme Super Battle Road, he might still struggle a bit for defense. Uh, for defense, so um, I would definitely try to be careful with him if possible. Okay, so I'm gonna pop the Icarus once again, and let's go for. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Let's go for Goku, I guess. No, let's go for Nappa, because now we can get type advantage with the other guys too. Oh, you know what? Oh, that's my mistake. I should have attacked Goku with the Frieza, because the Frieza gets guaranteed crits. But it's okay. What's done is done. Oh, that's a lot of damage right there. That's a lot of damage right there. As I've said before, uh, LR Metal Cooler, I love him. I think he's a sick unit. But defensively, um you know, does leave a bit to be desired. <laughs> he doesn't get the most defense, he makes up for it with his tanking and his revival skill, but sometimes, if you've already used the revival skill and he comes back, or like the other cooler comes in rotation, he might get one shot by a super, and that's just really unfortunate. <laughs> but that's just how it is. It's all good. Okay, Metal Cooler, a couple of supers here. TUR Metal Cooler, that is. This guy is also very, very good, man. I don't understand how people were not impressed by his EZA when, it, when the details even first came out, because I thought it was, like, pretty solid. Even, like, on paper, he looked pretty solid. And then, of course, in performance, like, when he actually... Uh, we were able to see, like, what he could do. I was, like, really impressed, guys. Okay, anyways, back to TUR Cooler. We're here to showcase him. Okay, so taking normals pretty well, supers are once again hurting him because he hasn't had a chance to stack up. So maybe don't put him in the first slot. Although the LR Final Form Cooler wouldn't have been great. Wouldn't have been great in the first slot either. There's an additional super. So if we had gotten supered after he was able to launch these two super attacks with around 400k defense, he would have been able to handle the supers a lot better but that didn't happen so we took a bunch of damage luckily we have a lot of hp so it didn't really matter that much but we're seeing that in shorter events as i said um and it's not a surprise it was what i was expecting that he will take damage he definitely will take damage we we'll finish off goku here with the metal cooler oh wow so close so close. Alright, so let's finish him off with the Frieza active skill, which I don't get to see a lot, so every single time I get a chance to pop this, I gotta take it. I gotta take it. So enjoy, guys. <sighs> and one of the best KO screens, of course, in the game unquestionably there we go last fight guys and that will do it for the showcase let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about the final form cooler or the easy atur cooler so far um 
Ooh, okay, so I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to heal up a bit here, and also I'm gonna put the... <laughs> I'm gonna leave, rather, the uh, AGL cooler in the first slot, because those attacks are scary. And we're gonna leave the TUR cooler in the middle, so he can build up his defense a bit before he potentially takes some supers. And uh, I guess we'll just rotate out the LR Final Form cooler. But yeah, let me know in the comments how you guys feel about him so far. I do think that part of my reaction is just hype over the fact that like a unit that I've been wanting to... Oh, this is weird. <laughs> One sec, guys. Let me try to reconnect this. It's been happening every once in a while. I think it might be time to change my table or... Yeah, we're good. We're back. It might be time to change things up because I think I've had this for about a year now. And uh, it's giving me issues. It's giving me issues. But anyways, um, I think part of my maybe hype over all of this is the fact that like this is something I've wanted for... Oh my god. This is something I've wanted for a really long time. And now that we finally have it, I'm just really excited, right? So yeah, maybe once I get to take some time and think about it a bit more, I won't be as high on him. But I kind of doubt it. I kind of doubt it. I think I'll still be really, really high on him. Even after, you know, spending more time using this unit. Because he is just... He is just a monster, guys. He is just a monster. Okay, um... Let's use an Android 8. And then... Do we need a Whis as well? I don't know. Maybe not. We should be fine. I mean, if we take a super... There's like a decent chance we die, right? But even if we die, we got two guys that can revive us on this rotation. The only thing that would, that would really suck is if full power Frieza took a super and we died. That would be awful because he's the only one on this rotation that can't revive. But there's also a bunch of attacks in the middle, so there's a decent chance actually that we take super there and, and get killed. Um which uh, would not be fun. <laughs> There's the additional super. I mean, honestly, I think we're gonna finish this off, guys. I think I think that's gonna do it. I wouldn't mind getting one more attack with, uh, with Final Form Cooler, but I don't think we'll get that chance. Yeah, we're not gonna get that chance. So that's gonna do it for today's showcase, guys. Um, very, very, very impressive. Very impressive on long events. Oh no, we will. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. I'm gonna do transformation, and then we'll do one final attack because why not? We're here to showcase him. He deserves to get the last attack in this video, right? So, yeah. Um. Well, what was I saying again? Oh, um, super, super impressive in longer events. Not as effective defensively in shorter events, but still does okay. Still holds up much better than he did before. And um, yeah, yeah. What is there? What what else is there to say, guys? I think I've said all there is to say about this EZA. I think that I've said all there is to say about this about this cooler uh he kind of instantly like became my favorite unit in the game now like he, <laughs> he if not my favorite he's my in my top two top three favorite units in the game right now and i'm gonna be using him a lot a lot so guys that's gonna do it for today's showcase that's gonna do it for today's video there is your str cooler extremes the awakening something we've all been asking for forever and it's finally here and it does not disappoint it does not disappoint guys as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video well, of course thank you thank you for watching and uh you know if you're not subbed to the channel make sure to hit that big red subscribe button join the tiger squad now hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.